Hello, this is Nick with Albert Air Conditioning, and today we are looking at a fan coil in a closet, and we replaced a gas furnace that was here before. Uh, so I'm going to go through uh, this fan coil, what we did uh, to replace it with the gas furnace, and, and some of the benefits and features of this system. Uh, as always, please like my uh, video and subscribe to my page. And uh, in the future, we're going to have a lot more videos about fan coils and heat pumps, as well as some of those rebates that are associated with those. And I'll try to touch on some of those at the end of this video. Um, so basically, in this closet, we had a gas furnace before. This is a downflow system, which means the top up here is where the return air comes in. There's a filter rack right there, a four inch filter in there. And then the air travels through the system down under the house and you can see one of the ducts right there and they go under the house and up into each room. So before there was a gas furnace in here, which you can see here's the gas line right there. We capped that and then up here there's a flue vent right there and we capped that flue vent as well. Um, because the fan coil is all electric, no more gas, we did have to run a dedicated circuit and that comes in through this box right here. And then you can see this disconnect cord comes all the way down to a switch on the bottom and that's what's powering this fan coil so instead of the traditional plug that a furnace uses which is 115 volt the fan coil uses a 220 volt circuit so we have to put a dedicated line from the panel which is on the other side of the house and we ran a new line all the way over here that's a dedicated circuit it cannot splice in any way or power outlets or lights or anything like that um, so this is a carrier variable speed fan coil matched with a heat pump condenser. Heat pump condenser is basically right above it. These lines run directly up to that heat pump condenser. So this does heat and cooling and it's variable speed. So it does variable speeds for heating and cooling. And this is the infinity system, the FE4 fan coil the FE4 ANB006 L00. This is a modular fan coil. That means that right here, you can actually take it apart in half if you need to get it in and out of a closet. As you can see, it does fill this closet pretty well. It's 60 inches tall from the bottom all the way to the top right here. The width of this is 25 inches, which is usually a lot bigger than a standard furnace. So a five ton furnace is usually about 21 inches. So you gotta make sure it'll fit in this closet space. Um, other stuff that we had to do on this is we do have drain lines on it, just like a traditional gas furnace with an evaporator coil. Like I said, you do have your filter rack right here, which is pretty standard on every system. And this is a downflow system. So everything goes, comes in from the top up here and goes down in the system. This particular fan coil is matched with the variable speed heat pump condenser on top. That is what does the heating and cooling element of the system. This just moves the air through the coil, whether it's heating or cooling. And it has to be matched with this infinity control thermostat. And right now you can see the heat pump is heating. So you can see that little light right there, it's 72 in the house. This infinity control has to be matched with this system so it gets its full capabilities. It has several features in it. Um, it has a humidity control. You can connect to the My Infinity app for Wi-Fi. Um, you can actually uh, adjust your fan and go to different levels on your fan depending if you wanna run a continuous fan all day. Uh, it has a lot of other options in it, like you can program what your temperature profiles will be. You can also schedule your system, so you can do a guided schedule if you'd like, and it's very easy to do, very intuitive. Um, there's energy tracking on here. You can check the operating status of your system, and because it's variable speed, like I said, it hits many different speeds. So right now we are in a heat pump and we are heating, the function is heat and we are at 34% uh, speed right now. So like I said, it goes from 25% capacity to 100% and we're right in the middle uh, on the lower end there, about 33%. So it doesn't need a lot to heat this house. It's doing its job and being very, very quiet because of that. It's very even, very comfortable heat in the house. Some of the other functions on here, the energy tracking, you know, time and date. We have a service hat there for advanced diagnostics and obviously you can set up the Wi-Fi so you can remotely access it so you know and the other thing i was going to mention at the end of this video was about the rebates on this and there are some rebates so there is a federal tax credit on a heat pump system there are carrier manufacturer rebates and there are state and local rebates as well as the inflation reduction act rebate 
which is ran by the state that has not given our full details on yet, but we will get those eventually. So for more information on this system, please leave a comment below, or you can uh, check our website out at www.albertair.com. As always, like this video and subscribe to my page and hit that notification bell for more videos like this coming in the future. Thank you very much.